Hello everyone! In this video, we will be solving linear inequalities in one variable. Before we jump into these two examples that we have here, let's have a review on inequality. We remember that if we get this symbol greater than or equal to or less than or equal to where there is a bar underneath the inequality sign, we are going to use the solid circle or we're going to use the bracket. And if we get this symbol greater than or less than without a bar underneath, we are going to use the open circle or we're going to use the parentheses. Now let's take this first example right here. So we are supposed to determine the solution to this inequality both in interval notation and graphing form. So that's 2x plus 5 is greater than 13. So what are we going to do is we clear one side, usually the left side, we clear um, the left side, we need to have only x left by itself on the left side. So what are we going to do here is we are going to subtract 5 from both sides minus 5. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this as 2x is greater than 13 minus 5 is 8. And then again, we want x by itself on one side. So we divide both sides by 2. We divide this by 2 here. So then we are left with x is greater than, that's going to be 4. So this is the um, inequality that we are going to graph this inequality right here. As you can see, there's no bar underneath, so we are going to use an open circle on 4. So there's a positive 4 open circle. That's, uh, we, we, use, uh, we write that open circle right there on 4. And then since the arrowhead is directed to the right, we are going to draw a line directed to the right. So this is the solution to this inequality. That means all numbers greater than 4 would be a solution to this, which means it would make this... Um, inequality correct. Now we are going to write the solution in interval notation. That's what it says over here. So we remember that this one is on uh, 4 and this one goes all the way to positive infinity. In writing for the interval notation, we are going to start from the leftmost part of the solution that is um, on 4, but this is an open circle. So we're going to use a parenthesis. So parenthesis on 4 and that is all the way to positive infinity. So this is the leftmost part. And then we pair it up. So this is the leftmost part and we pair it up with the rightmost part, which is a positive infinity. And so if it's infinity, we are going to use a parenthesis. So then we go ahead and take this as our uh, solution to this inequality. Again, this is in interval notation and this one right here is in uh, graphing form. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, we uh, we make sure that the x is isolated on uh, one side. Usually, we want it to be on the left side. So then we go ahead and subtract 2x from both sides, minus 2x. So then we are left with, we can cross this out, that's 3x minus 3 less than equal to 6. And then we go ahead and add 3 to both sides, plus 3 and plus 3. So then we are left with 3x is less than or equal to 9. So then we divide both sides by 3, divide this by 3. So we are left with x is less than or equal to 3. And this is the inequality that we're going to graph here. So uh, as you can see here, this has a line underneath. So we're going to use a closed circle. So that's going to be on 3, closed circle. And then the direction of the arrow is going to the left. So then I am going to draw a line that is directed to the left. Again, it doesn't stop on negative 2. It goes to infinity. So if we label this, this is actually going to negative infinity. And this one right here is 3. So then if we write the um, solution in interval notation, so we start from just like how we did it over here. So we start from the left, which is a negative infinity. Since that is infinity, we're going to use a uh, parenthesis. So that's um, negative infinity. 
and then the leftmost part is a positive 3. And since this is a closed circle, we are going to use a bracket. So 3 and then bracket. So this one right here is our solution in interval notation. And this one right here is our solution in um, graphing form. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next one right here. So we are supposed to solve this inequality and we're supposed to determine the solution in two ways first in graphing form and interval notation so what are we going to do here is again we uh, have to isolate x by itself usually on the left side so then before we can do that we can distribute this one first when we distribute be sure that you distribute it to each of them because others distribute it only to the x and they forget to distribute it to the negative three that is not the correct way to do it. It has to be distributed to both terms inside the parentheses. So from here, we can go ahead and rewrite this as 3x minus 3 greater than, that's going to be 5 times x is 5x. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. So then from here, we go ahead and subtract 5x from both sides. So minus 5x and minus 5x. So we are left with, we can cross this out first, so that is negative 2x minus 3 is greater than negative 15. So then from here, we go ahead and um, add 3 to both sides. So I'm going to add 3 because we want x isolated on the left side. So plus 3 and plus 3. So then we are left with, we can cross this out first, so that's a negative 2x is greater than negative 15 plus 3 is negative 12. Now, we are supposed to divide both sides by negative 2. So divide this by negative 2 and divide this by negative 2. Now, please remember this. When multiplying or dividing a negative to an inequality, always switch the direction of the inequality sign. So then since we are dividing negative 2 here, we are going to switch this inequality sign. So we can go ahead and cross this out. So the leftover here would be x is less than, that's going to be 6. Again, we always switch the direction of the inequality symbol once we divide a negative or we, once we multiply a negative. So multiplying and dividing a negative would switch the inequality symbol. So then we go ahead and graph this since this has no line underneath. So then we can go ahead and use a, an open circle that is on 6. So open circle on 6 and the direction of the arrowhead is to the left. So I will make a line directed to the left. Again, this arrowhead is telling us that it goes all the way to infinity. So we can go ahead and label this. This is going to negative infinity and this is at 6. So then we can go ahead and write the solution in interval notation. The leftmost part is negative infinity. So we're going to use a uh, parenthesis and then it stops on 6 and since that's an open circle so we're going to use a parenthesis so this is our solution in interval notation and this is our solution in graphing form at this time i would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own and when you're done and pause it and check your answer Okay, so we go over the uh, problem here. First, we are going to have x isolated by itself on the left side. So then we go ahead and add 5 to both sides. So plus 5 and plus 5. So then we are left with, we can cross this out. So we are left with negative 1 third x. And that is less than equal to negative 4 plus 5 is a positive 1. So then we have a, a, a fraction here. In order that we can undo the fraction, we are supposed to multiply the fraction with its reciprocal. Reciprocal means we flip the fraction and multiply it. So then from here, I can go ahead and flip this negative one-third into a negative three over one so that I can undo this. So then if I multiply this by a negative three over one, then I multiply the other side by negative three over one as well. 
So again, we always flip this, whatever this number is, flip the fraction and then you multiply it in order that we can undo this fraction. So then from here, we can go ahead and cross the three and the three and the one and the one. So we're left with negative of a negative X is a positive X right here. And then, and then please remember that when multiplying or dividing a negative to an inequality, always switch the direction of the inequality sign. So then since we are multiplying a negative here, we are supposed to flip the direction of this. So this would come out that's greater than equal to, that would be um, one times negative three is a negative three, and then that's over one, so it's just, it's a negative three. So this is the inequality that we are going to sketch down here. So that would be um, an, a closed circle on negative three. So I'm gonna have a closed circle here and the direction of the arrow is going to the um, right. So then I'm going to uh, draw an arrow directed to the right. And then from here, I can label this as negative three. And then again, this one goes all the way to positive infinity. So then we can go ahead and write the solution in interval notation, just like this um, answer right here. So we start with negative three, since this is a closed circle. So we're going to use a bracket on negative three. And then since this is going to um, positive infinity, infinity, again, we're going to use a parenthesis. So that means this is our solution in interval notation, and this is the solution in graphing form. Did you get the same answer as this? Yeah! Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!